So I've been wanting to do this video for honestly four years now. I've been waiting to do it. I'm packing up for college. Um, I'm moving literally like three days. I'm really nervous right now. I don't know why. But I'm talking about my high school experience. I don't know if I said that already. But I personally did not have a good high school experience. And if you guys are going into high school, please don't base like don't be worried just because of my video because obviously i will explain why i did not have a good high school experience but anyway um four years ago i was a freshman and in high school now i'm going into college i'm moving to los angeles and and i'm majoring in social media so i'm really excited about that um anyway i'm just gonna just jump right into it enough rambling so I waited a long time for this video because I wanted to see like how it would be. I was hoping that I would be like how I am now saying that everything will be okay and this was all worth it and I am so so happy that I can finally say that because I knew it was going to happen like my mom told me it um like everything will get better like just wait till like especially like when high school's over like nothing's going to matter and all that. So a lot of you may know or be following me because I, <laughs> I just like clap because I did it musically. So now it's TikTok, and everyone that is doing TikTok, like if you have a lot of TikTok followers in school, like you immediately have like clout and you're cool and like popular. And oh my god, my neck. Sorry guys. <laughs> But yeah, that was not the case for Musical.ly. You can literally ask any of the OG musers. A lot of them, like people like post now, like they were homeschooled because they got bullied for doing Musical.ly and now like everyone wants to become TikTok famous and it's the cool thing to do. But I happened to be on when it was Musical.ly and that's how I like grew and got verified and all that stuff. But when I first started, like literally like the first month or not like the first month was it sophomore year or freshman year? yeah it was freshman year i got invited to do my first like meet and greet ever um and i went i flew to texas and i did a meet and greet and i met fans from musically and it was the coolest thing ever i literally only had like fifty thousand at the time which like it's very different now obviously and so yeah, I wasn't like big, but just because they promoted a lot, like I happened to meet fans, which was the coolest thing ever. And that is when, when people started finding out that I was doing Musical.ly, like immediately, like people didn't, I don't know, it was definitely not the first month of school. I don't remember. I'm so bad at memory, but like, um, as soon as people found out about that, that's when like, I was like immediately like, that girl is gonna get hated and we're gonna torture her for four years. I literally feel so much better that high school is over, like I'm so happy. Okay, anyway, but if I were to record this during when I was getting bullied, this would not be like if anything happy, like you guys would probably be like really like drained after watching it so now i can tell you that everything happens for a reason and because of me getting bullied like now like i'm moving to california and i'm hoping for like and i met like true friends finally i went to a new a new school where i didn't know that much people but i made friends like right away and like towards those years those girls hated me even towards like within like a month or whatever but i would switch my table like every week like it was bad i felt like i didn't fit in um, there would be like a certain amount of chairs we would always be crammed at the table and my chair would always be pushed behind like it was like they were like people would let me sit with them but it was like they didn't want me like you know that vibe when you like know that nobody likes you at the table or whatever and I would literally talk to no one I dreaded going to lunch I dreaded going to school every single day sorry if I get a little bit emotional because like now it's bringing back memories and I just hate thinking about it um but <laughs> I'm like getting sad and like I just hit my makeup like no you can't cry I'm like that's stupid don't cry um but <laughs> I would walk um I would be walking to my classes and <laughs> I don't want to cry I would just be like walking to my classes one time um 
literally the whole class like i don't even think there was one person that wasn't and like i was like running a little late but the teacher wasn't there yet and ew i don't like that i'm crying the teacher wasn't there yet so um, everyone was waiting by the door and everyone was like like pretending to take pictures of me and was like oh my god the musically girl and like laughing at me how is it like to be famous like can i get a picture with you and it wasn't like in a nice way at all and i would always just laugh like, to them be like oh stop and i would go in the bathroom and cry or call my mom but <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. I would call my mom and be like, Mom, like, I need to go home. I missed a lot of school. I was so, <laughs> I don't want to cry. I don't know why I'm crying. Um, people would watch my YouTube videos in class and all laugh at me. Um, watch my TikToks. I mean, musically, whatever. They would watch them in front of me and laugh at me. And people would laugh at me in the hallways and be like, want to make a musically together? And comment stuff on my videos from school um, when I was at like a dance one time uh, or no no it was a sweet 16 party uh, I was just like dancing whatever and like one of my friends like I had like three friends in school but like as I, I switched I like I had did not switch but like I lost so many friends and like found real ones eventually but like I went through them like but there, someone was like, oh, like that person's recording you. And I actually was very brave and went up to them and they like apologized to me. But I know it was because I do that and they were like laughing at me and recording me. And I told them that and then they felt bad. Um, yeah, but I would literally like one day I went, um, I was on the show TRL and literally, um, like, I missed school for it. And I was not, I never once said, like, oh, I'm hosting the show or I'm on, the, I said, look out for me. Like, you might see me on the screen because I was in the audience watching it because it's, like, a live show and you can go to the studio and actually watch it. All these people were saying, like, who does she think she is? Does she think she's famous and stuff? That girl is so weird. She thinks she's cool. She's trying to be cool. She's not even on the show. Why is she acting like that? And I would be, like, literally and then those people would be like oh the next day like oh how is TRL like that's cool like it like and I knew like all these people would tell me things whatever but it was just I don't know a lot of people always had stuff to say to me like one time this girl literally I just like sat down it was like the first day was it senior year or junior year? Like, I was like, okay, new fresh start. I was like, no, it's senior year. But then she transferred. She's probably going to watch it, so hi. Uh, anyway, all these people are probably going to watch it because they hate me, but they watch everything I do when I don't even follow them and don't even know anything that they're doing. That's what is so crazy to me. Like, if you don't like someone, then why are you watching everything they do? She was like, is that a Musical.ly backpack? And, like, the whole class laughed. First off, it was a champion backpack. Like, what the heck? That doesn't even make sense. That's so stupid. Just because I do, uh, just because I do an app, like, I, like, make videos on an app, like, what, why does that make my whole person, like, oh, that girl is a Musical.ly girl. Like, what about that girl is nice or something? And, Whatever. I was super shy and very timid and I wanted to fit in so bad and for years I Tried everything. I was even so nice to the people that were so mean to me and made me cry every day I would compliment them just like for reassurance and hoping <laughs> I don't want to cry but like <laughs> Hoping to like Be cool and like, fit in but honestly like it's, it's really not what it's about, like, whatever. <laughs> but and then I went to a Europe trip junior year, and I only had, like, one friend that was I knew that was going, and the other girls, like, I was not close with, but I became close with them, and a lot of them did not like me um, before, and they were like, oh, wow, like, you're actually, like, so nice and fun to hang out with, but, like, so many people said stuff about you and like made fun of you for all these years and they were some of them but it's okay because I'm over it. I'm a very forgiving person. Like I literally am so forgiving. And 
uh, they were just like, wow, like, you're actually, like, so nice. Like, people, like, even I, like, or whatever, they would say, like, judged you for doing musically. And, like, that just sounds so stupid to me. Now that I'm, like, bringing that up, like, what the heck? Like, you're really judging someone for using an app? Like, what? That's so stupid. But... Anyway, they're like, you're really nice, and yeah, but I would get looks every day. I felt like people were, like, I felt the stares even when I was just, like, looking down at my paper. I went to Mercy High School. Everybody there loved it. They said it was the best four years of their life. It was hell for me every day. I would come home from school, and I was, before going into high school, I was so happy all the time and very driven and motivated. And every day after school, I would go, like, lay on my beanbag and literally cry. And, like, I would literally go to sleep every day for hours. And, like, I would literally, like, go to sleep, do my homework, and, like, fall asleep. And times I wanted to quit um, because I felt like everyone was staring at Like, I knew every day was, like, a new thing. Like, it wasn't just, like, once in a while. It was every day every day like i don't understand that like why do you do that it's so weird like literally laughing at me like i don't know what that makes them feel better like and a lot of people say oh they're just jealous but really like what is there to be jealous of if you're making fun of me like i don't understand but um this sounds like super cheesy and stuff but the dolan twins like their video i watched their um high school video they got bullied and literally every day every time i was upset that stuck with me and bethany moda because i used to love her I, like everyone watched her i don't even know if she still does youtube but she talked about her high school experience and they've been homeschooled too because they got bullied and literally like when i, I kid you not that video like who knows what would it like who knows I was so depressed and, and they literally helped me like they helped me get through it because I always thought to the back of my mind they always said it will get better I promise so that is what I'm trying to tell you guys I'm not trying to have you guys do have pity for me or be worried about going into high school because literally like that only like that's not gonna happen to you but if something like that does happen um everything will get better I promise like like, I've been waiting for years to say that because I was like, I know that it is going to get better. My mom helped me so much and my sister. And, like, I do have, like, a few good friends, but I lost a lot of friends. Um, yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> and, yeah. <sighs> like, I, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Like, I it's really, like, hard for me to talk about this. I don't know why. But... Um, I prayed a lot and now I'm moving to California in a couple days and I've been literally dreaming about going there forever and if you feel like you don't fit in or you don't belong or if you're not cool or popular it's okay like it will get better like I promise you and I'm so happy that I could be able to say that now because looking back freshman year I always knew that it was gonna get better but I was like is it really like, is it really? Because I hated every day of school. And, yeah, so, for people that do follow me on TikTok, or follow me if you even are watching this, because I know I'm not active on YouTube, but thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And I, now I do have a few very, very loyal friends that I'm so grateful to have, and my family's helped me through everything. So, yeah. I just want you guys to remember that you are loved and no matter what you are going through, it literally will get better. I cannot stress that enough. And if you are getting bullied or anything, you can reach out to me. And if I don't see it, like, please don't let that, like, you have to contact an adult. I try to answer as much as you guys as possible to try and make it, like, for, what, for using my platform to make it something positive. I'm so sorry. I keep stuttering. But that you guys could talk to me and mental health is so important and you're important. So, and your life matters, so if you are going through anything, of course you can talk to me, but if, say I didn't see it for some reason, which I literally checked my DMs like crazy, please talk to an adult, um, a parent, literally, a, like anyone, and it will get better, and I love you. And I'm sorry I got a little emotional, but I just wanted to say, like, I did get bullied a lot, but <sighs> that's in the past. I graduated, I'm so happy it's over. And I love you.